I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. Uh, sorry if you can hear the rain in the background, but yeah, I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. Probably six or seven months, and obviously by the title you can tell what the video is going to be about. Um, it's why I don't play Halo anymore, and I'm going to give you a bunch of reasons why. And I just don't play it like I used to. I still play Halo, but I don't upload it anymore, obviously, and I don't play it that much like I used to. I used to play it three or four hours a day, you know, most days, and that would be my main game that I would play, like, pretty much any time that I was on. If you saw me on, that was pretty much it. I just played Halo. And why don't I do that anymore? Well, mainly just because I don't really have the drive to upload it anymore. The game is quite dead, and I can tell you reasons why it's pretty dead. Um, there was a match that I went into, multiple matches. The one that I went into today that made me really want to discuss this video. My team lost 100-38 to in Big Team Battle. And they will sit there and tell you matchmaking is based solely upon skill level. It's skill based matchmaking. That is so far from the truth. That is such bullshit. They're feeding you bullshit. They're feeding you things that they want you to think is true. Because there's there was no way. The way that it was compared, every single person on my team was at least negative five. Meaning that they had at least five more deaths than their kills. There was a guy at the bottom of the team that was two and seventeen. Me, I wasn't a big contributor, but I was at the top and I joined the late. I joined when it was thirty-eight to eleven, and I ended up going out with ten and ten, ten kills, ten deaths, while the rest of my team all had at least negative five, which is ridiculous. How is that even fair? I'm playing against guys that are at least my skill level, if not better, and there's three of them at least on the top three of the other team. And let me let me tell you real quick. The other team was all positive kill death ratio. That's that's so ridiculous. It wasn't even at all. If it was a close game, I wouldn't be complaining about this and I wouldn't be saying this is why I don't play Halo anymore. The game just is not fun when you have games like that. Halo used to be where you got a mixture of good people and bad people, and there were games where you just played solely good people. Both teams were pretty even, and if you did lose a match, it wasn't because your teammates were complete trash. You just didn't play like a team, and the other team did. And that's not even what was happening here. Everybody was scattered out. Nobody was communicating on the other team. Their other team was just solely better than us. It was complete and utter bullshit. Like... I can't get through to your like I can't get it through to my, people's minds. This is why Halo is dead. Many people will claim, "Oh, Halo's dead just because of Halo 4 and the games they've released afterwards." You know, Master Chief Collection, Halo 5. No, that's not why. That's not why. It's because Halo 5 is a good game. It is. Don't get me wrong, but the aspects of matchmaking and everything are are terrible. It's terrible. It's terribly set up. The only way that you can get even a half decent match, and I can't even say that because in arena you happen to get teams that are more ranked to you. You get more teammates that are actually your skill level, but there's still games where we're getting pooped on and it's not even because they are my skill level. It still happens in arena. There's still games where I play and my team is still complete trash. And it's vice versa too. There's teams where I will have like the best players in the lobby and we each go like 30 kills in big team battle with like four deaths compared to the other team, which they'll, you know, they'll be the opposite four kills and 30 deaths, which is still ridiculous because it shouldn't be happening. I, I'm complaining because I don't want it to happen to me because I don't like it. So I don't want it to happen to other people. I enjoy pub stomping. Go, don't get me wrong. I enjoy that. And I enjoy skill based matchmaking. But what I don't understand is. There used to be a middle ground where they could combine both of them. You know, there's a time where you would play against a lobby of one or two good people on the other team, but you could still pump stomp the shit out of everybody else. And they were the same, and the games were pretty even. It just came down to your two, two or three top players. You know, now it's coming down to 
like there's like five or six of your best players in a big team battle and I understand what they're trying to do they're you know I understand what's going on here I get that they are trying to appeal to the new gamer and everything but that's a completely wrong way because if the new gamer is on the team that I was on earlier of course nobody's gonna want to play that why would you want to play a game like that why would you want that you're going to just drive away all of your fan base it's it's terrible it's terrible and I'm just I just am so baffled about how 343 has handled things I don't think they're a terrible company and I'm hoping that maybe the new Halo will be better Halo 5 is probably not gonna be on my channel unless you guys really want to see it because I don't mind playing it it just makes me angry at times when I get things like that thrown at me where my team's losing by almost and we only have like one third of the other team's score so just keep in mind that if you do play Halo 5 just keep in mind that you are gonna be suffering quite a bit if you are a good player if you're a new player you're gonna suffer even more just because of the fact that you won't get into an even game even when I made a new account like a Smurf account on the Mr. All-Star Jr. I was still getting in games that were not fair I was you know even after like five games I'm clearly showing that I'm better than the games that they are ranking me up with there were teams that were getting me and another guy were getting like 20 kills and we stayed in the same lobby together and we're getting 20 kills each that's ridiculous in Team Slayer because there's only a limit of 50 so we're getting you know each of us alone are getting almost all of our team's kills and they still were ranking us up against bad players and that's not fair at all it's really not and that's why I'm complaining is because it's not just happening to me it's happening to everyone and that's why the Halo 5 fan base is nothing like Halo used to be Halo used to be a lot bigger and a lot more competitive back when Halo Reach was still a thing that's when it was in its prime but now Halo's pretty much dead and those are one of the big reasons why so you know I just thought I'd make this video just to clarify why I don't really upload Halo anymore because I know there's a few subscribers that still watch me when I or subscribe to me because I played Halo but yeah I don't I don't really play it anymore as in the aspect that I don't really want to uh, I don't play it competitively like I did and I'm not an MLG player or anything or I never really was trying to be I just used to play it to try and do my best but now I just play it casually just hop on and play a few games and then go about my day but yeah that's pretty much it guys I'll see you guys in the next one uh, by the way my Twitter's linked down, down below go follow that we are pretty close to 50 subscribers okay I'm trying to get there man we are almost there if I could get there by the end of what is it July yeah July <laughs> I couldn't think what came after June but July if we get to 50 subscribers by July I will be so happy but that's all I got time for today boys and girls I'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys